Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over the flex offense, and this is a continuity offense that you can use against a man-to-man -to, -man, uh, to get some open layups and to also get some jump shots for your team. So we're going to go through the continuity of it. You can start this offense off any way that you see fit. This is just how we started off here because we also have another set play that starts off just like this, and uh, it's just easy because the the kids are used to it, they adjust well to it, and uh, that's how we started off. Okay, so the way we started off is we have uh, four and five in the middle because we're going to want to get these guys to ball uh, one of the high posts, and our two and three in the corners, and it doesn't matter which one's in which side or whatnot. So two could have been on this side, three could have been on this side, four could have been here, five could have been here. Um, so that's how we uh, started off. So it's initiated by the point guard dribbling to the left side or the right side. If uh, he or she dribbles to this side, the opposite big flashes up here and they have to uh, work to be able to receive the ball. Okay, we'll show you an option of what happens if they can't receive the ball there. But uh, typically when the play starts off, whenever you're just starting to run it, you're going to be able to get that ball received to the high post, high key area. Okay, so what happens is they pull up and then once the ball is passed to uh, that high wing area you're going to see what's called a flex cut there's going to be a, a one step and screen and this person from the corner is going to go underneath or over the top and then if you screen for the people in the corner it's some simple rules if you screen for the person in the corner you stay put all right so what's going to happen is they're going to look for the person screening uh, coming off the screen for a layup if they're open you give it to them if not the person who is here which would be the point guard and i'll show you that in a second they down screen and pop out so every time that you down screen you pop out to that corner and you're looking for the ball so never take your eye off the ball so um, and then the continuity just continues to happen so when the ball uh, is caught here and then now this person is going to be screened for to come over here then a down screen pop out and the play just continues and continues and continues so we're going to go slow uh, at first and then we'll show you a little bit sped up option so i'll pause it kind of throughout to explain but one's going to dribble over to the left side as you see the opposite big came up here. Now notice how there's a wide open space here. When the ball is advanced here to five, we just basically fill in our place. So this person's going to come over and fill in our place. And we're looking to make that layup off of the screen. Notice how one kind of creeps down here because they're going to get ready to down screen and pop out. Now, as you see, it's the same thing. Now, there's opposite side. Now, we have an uh, an open block area that we have to fill. So, now that's going to be three's job. But two's going to go and screen, but not all the way. They're not going to run all the way over here and screen. They're just going to take one step here, screen, and then open up to the ball. So, see one step up, screen. They chose to go underneath. Now, five would down screen and pop out, leaving the block open. And now it's one's job to come to that block and now four is going to down screen three is going to receive the ball four pops out five comes over the top wide open and layup now what we're going to show you next is some other options that's not the only option of the layups there's some other options out of here where we can get jump shots backdoor cuts things of that nature there so we're going to show you an option here for uh, basically a jump shot you run it a couple of times we're not there maybe denying uh, the blocks there really packing the paint and you got some good shooters this time we're going to go over to the right side as you see now this big comes over flex cuts not open we got a down screen for four one's going to down screen and pop out two's going to screen for three five's going to screen for two and now two's open and then takes the shot. So that's always an option as well that you can have. Another option too is if they're not open, they're not open, and this person's open here, you could always pass it to that person for a shot as well. Okay, so you don't have to just be robotic with it. However, the baseline cut is what typically what you want to see from um, you know from your offense and you know what you want. That's really the first option is what you're looking for. Okay. So now from here, what you would see is the uh, baseline cut. 
And now I want to go through uh, what you would do on, uh, I was telling you about a backdoor cut. So they're going to be, after a while you run this play, they're going to start denying after you down screen the person coming to the top. So just to just kind of show you what happens here, you see the baseline cut from one, and then we get a down screen from four for three. And what's going to happen is three is going to be denied, recognize it, and then immediately backdoor. And then there you go. So that's another option there. So I'm going to show you a little bit sped up just so you can kind of get the idea of how uh, it should be run here. And some key things to emphasize when they catch the ball, they should always triple threat face up to the rim. And then again, not just not be such a robot because these, you know, while these plays look really great and wide open against a good team, you may not get wide open looks. You may have to create off the dribble when you catch it up here and attack the rim, right? So you won't be able to just immediately pass the ball to the block every single time. Uh, screens need to be wide. Uh, make sure that they set really good screens and also to wait. So whenever they're going to down screen, <clears throat> the person down here does not need to leave early. They need to wait, let the screen happen, and allow that play to develop. That way they're not, you know, giving, giving away what's happening, okay? And then as they run through it, they can get creative, and they'll be able to kind of catch and identify some openings that are happening through the offense. So we're going to go to medium and let it play. So as you see here, flex cut down screen pop out flex cut down screen and pop out another flex cut down screen pop out flex cut score same thing opposite side flex cut down screen pop out flex cut down screen pop out and then shot and then here's our backdoor option that we showed you here a second ago so that's it guys so this is a flex offense this is a good offense for um, you can run it at the middle school level you just got to make sure that they take care of the main fundamentals first as far as good screens good passes uh, you can have a have, have to have a, a team that can handle the ball really well protect the basketball and not make bad passes now, of course you could run this at the high school level as well uh, this was one in which that we ran whenever I was in high school and um, used to be pretty common in colleges, Maryland University in particular. I used to see, watch uh, them growing up and they used to run this offense and not as common anymore. Um, however, it is a good offense if you're looking for something to get some continuity for your team against a man-to-man -man offense. So that's all I got for you in this one. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.